Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah. Today I just wanted to walk you guys through my process that I went through decorating our nursery for our baby boy who's coming soon, which is crazy to think about, but he's definitely coming soon and I'm so happy to have the nursery together. It took me a lot of time to consider how I wanted to decorate the nursery. I would definitely say that interior design does not come naturally to me. It's something that I have to put a lot of thought effort intention into i can't just buy a ton of stuff and just throw it at the wall and hope that it sticks like i really have to put effort into it so if you're anything like me be encouraged to know like you can create a space that you really love and enjoy even if it's not one of your strongest talents i feel like a lot of skills can be you know acquired and practiced so a little bit of backstory is this room we live in a two-bedroom apartment and this room was kind of like a junk room of sorts we had an elliptical on one side um i had a desk with my makeup and vanity on another wall another wall had another desk with another chair and my imac and it was just like a a room that really i didn't enjoy going in i didn't even like editing videos in here i just did not enjoy this space at all because it was just so junky and cluttery so when we became pregnant and i started to conceptualize the nursery i was really excited to make this room feel a lot more like homey and i feel like we definitely accomplished that so for me when it comes to like decorating and stuff i don't like wasting money or wasting time buying stuff and knowing and not knowing if it's going to work or not so with that being said i think it's important to like narrow down like a color scheme or what you want the feel of the room to be so for me specifically i wanted this room to feel very like serene very calm i wanted it to be gender neutral in the event that we have more children in the future timeless pieces that can grow with our child into like you know being a little bit older just not super, super baby-ish looking, if that makes sense. The mood I really wanted was just like calm though, overall. So I personally like to use Canva. If you're not familiar, it's kind of like a website where you can do, you can do a lot on there. I mean, a lot of creators make their thumbnails on there for their YouTube videos, but you can also create different images as well, whether they're banners or whatever. So I like to use Canva when I'm trying to decorate a space so I can copy images from the websites that I'm purchasing from and then paste it into the space to see if the pieces fit and flow together. So that's what I like to do and that's what I did. Um, and it really makes it easier for me to see because I'm not the most visual person. Like I kind of got to see it all laid out most of the time. So in our space, I really wanted to do colors of like, like warmer tones warmer wood that's something that i don't do anywhere else in our home so i wanted to do more like warmer tones like ivory more of like a caramely color wood and then as far as like the accent color the color is sage which i think is just super definitely gender neutral but also very calming and just like easy on the eyes so that's basically the backstory of what I was looking to do and over here I'll put up on the screen what I created on Canva just to kind of make sure that the colors and everything flowed. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I would honestly say it came out a lot better than I even anticipated so yeah I think that's it. So without further ado let's get into the tour. So I'll start here with the crib. This crib is from Namesake and shout out to them for gifting me with this crib the changing table and our glider super grateful for that and what i was looking for with this crib is just something that would add some warmth to this space and i love this color this crib is called the nantucket crib it's a three-in-one convertible crib and it is in the color honey i love it um namesake used to be called million dollar baby classic so they read branded and their name is now namesake it also converts into a toddler bed as well and it's the perfect color that i feel like was needed for this space um and then this is a glider over here this is from namesake as i mentioned i love that it swivels it also reclines and it rocks so it's just all in one and honestly i looked at a lot of different furniture online and i found that the pieces on namesake were way more affordable than a lot of other competitors so i would definitely recommend checking them out i will have everything linked down below by the way so over here is a changing table and it matches the crib i got the baskets from 
Target and it just happened to match perfectly. But I wanted to shout out Namesake for gifting me with these products because I very much so appreciate it. So as far as these pictures right here, I got this from Target online. It honestly was everything I was looking for and the wood just happened to match perfectly. So I love how it has like a linen canvas detailing. Um, it looks like it was painted with watercolor and it just has that sage green tones that I really wanted to tie into the room. So Corey and I put these up with command strips and they're very lightweight. As far as the mattress goes, I got this mattress from Newton and it's a breathable mattress. So when the baby starts sleeping in the crib, if he ends up on his stomach, he can breathe straight through the mattress. So for me, as a first time mom, that was important to me. So definitely a bit of a splurge, but felt like it was well worth it. We decided to go with a light gold curtain rod and we have blackout curtains that are from Amazon. I just love the way that the curtains made the space look very elongated and just really expanded the room. So this is a bookshelf that we already had and um, we're just gonna keep it here for now. But once he starts like crawling and stuff, we'll either find a way to secure it to the wall or probably replace it with something lower. But it's good for now. We just have the books that he's accumulated so far on here and a little faux plant. The laundry basket is from Home Goods, and I just felt like it was the perfect color. I don't remember where the rug is from, but I will link it. It was very inexpensive because nursery rugs can become super pricey. But what I like about it is that it has like ivory, it has sage, and then it also has gray in it as well. So it just ties all the colors in. It took a lot of time to find a good side table. <laughs> Went to a lot of stores. I ended up getting this from Amazon. It's perfect, it's lightweight, it was very inexpensive, but it has like the colors and the wood tones and this little gold plant I got from Target. So next is this dresser. This dresser is huge. This is from Ikea. I think it's called the Hemmes, H-E-M-M-E-S dresser. Corey, he mainly put it together and I helped, but it took so long. So I know a lot of people have this dresser and if you get it, just know it's gonna take a long time to put together. But the amount of storage that you can get from this is priceless. Like it's a really, really good deal and it's nice quality. I painted these myself. I got a paint from Amazon and just painted over the knobs that it came with so that I could have more of that gold look because the knobs are originally black. So this is a bear that my dad gave me. Thought it'd be perfect to go in here. I got this frame from Hobby Lobby and just put a picture of us in it. This map is from Hobby Lobby as well. I got it during a sale. So I would definitely recommend checking Hobby Lobby. They have a lot of good decor and always buy it on sale. So I got this for like 50% off. I just wanted something to go on this wall that wasn't like necessarily a mirror. I wanted something that was just a little bit more chill but would take up a lot of this space. So I'm really happy with this. And then the lamp over there is from Hobby Lobby as well. And I got it on clearance. And I just thought it was perfect because the gold tones match the gold and then the sage mint color kind of ties in with everything else. So really quick, I just wanted to show you some of the drawers. Um, I was able to fit a lot of his clothes in these front drawers. So right here, we just have his newborn clothes. I got these little organizers from Amazon and I just kind of placed them in here. So newborn clothes here, zero to three months. And then I have three to six months right here. And once he's older, I'll go in, take out the old and replenish with the new. But we don't have a lot of closet space. So I really wanted a dresser that could accommodate the majority of his things. So the fact that the majority of his clothes right now fit in these three little drawers was great. So I really love the dresser for that reason. And then down here, we just have some of his linens, bath towels, bibs, swaddles, muslin blankets, um, sheets for his bassinet, just a ton of storage in here. So I would definitely recommend this dresser. So yeah, y'all, this is the room. I'm super happy with how it came out. Hey, babe. And yeah, it's super spacious. This room just feels so much more large. And I don't know, it just feels so much more homey. And I'm really happy with how it came out. So what do you think about the glider? Do you like it? 
Yeah, I would say um, one thing that's important to think about if you're a taller individual is the back part. I was surprised about how many of the chairs like I couldn't put my head on because it's so far back that your head is just hanging. So you want something tall enough to really be able to support your neck and your head, especially if you plan on spending a lot of time in this chair. Yeah, we love it in here. We've just been in here kind of just chilling, getting things together. And like I said earlier, I'm just really happy that we got the room together before baby's arrival. I feel like the room came out really timelessly. So like I said, everything will be linked down below. If I can find a link, it will be there. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Bye.